Welcome back. Christmas right around the corner. <laughs> Have you bought all of your gifts yet? Even for your pets? Well, Melissa Mouts from Pet Wants is here to tell us what your pet really wants for Christmas. It's good to see you. Brought a little friend in as well. I sure yeah, did. Right. This is Scout. Hey, Scout. <laughs> Good and to see you. Because Scout is really styling now, I'm going to assume that you sell really we nice sure things do. like that. We sure do. We <laughs> do have apparel. Um, we are very specific about our nutrition, however. Mm -hmm. uh, main focus at the shop is our food, all made fresh monthly for us, all gluten, corn, soy, and wheat free, as well as grain free products. Wow. And then we offer free delivery anywhere in the Lexington City limits as That's well. That's really good. So yeah. obviously, you have some regular customers who've gotten to know sure you. Do. Uh, but sure do. What about folks who just want to casually come by and maybe pick up something for their pet? Yeah. or maybe, you know, they have a friend who they know exactly. as a, a beloved pet. Right. So basically they can come in, they can give it, get however specific they want to. Mm -hmm. They can say, we have a big dog or a small dog to shop for. Everything I carry in the shop is USA made, locally made, or house made. So that really keeps us special. Um, and so we can just kind of see where we're at with things and um, suggest. Um, we have chews, toys, treats, um, all the good stuff, and then some house made essential oil products as well. Well, you have to really make sure that you take care of those pets on Christmas morning, too. I want to ask you more about that food. Yeah. You know, it really sounds like it would be good for the pets. Uh, do you have a lot of people who come in and, and have had problems? And, and what kind of a difference do they say it really makes to Quite do that? Quite a bit. So allergy, allergy-driven dogs, mm -hmm. unfortunately, are a big problem. Um, and so corn, wheat, and soy, number one allergens for animals, um, hard to digest. So sometimes you see digestive problems. So switching yeah. them over to an all-natural product that's made fresh monthly, that really sets this apart as well. Um, you can really see a difference, see a difference in their coat um, and then, you know, they're on throughout their lives as well. It sounds like it's important to you to run your business in a way that, uh, as you said, the natural food products and then to, to also uh, do as much local buying as you can do as well. Very much so. Uh, we have local vendors for um, leashes, collars, treats, um, uh, kind of every, everywhere throughout. Um, but main focus is nutrition and keeping them happy and healthy. What are some of the things you brought here that might be nice little presents to yeah. pick up? Yeah, so we have a Paul Wax, a cal calming balm, and a healing salve that we make in-house. Mm -hmm. um, Paul Wax obviously just helps to keep the paws nice and moisturized. Um, we have some Yeti dog chews here, um, and then we have the sweet potato chews. They're a nice chew, um, depending on the aggressiveness of the chewer. Um, and then some local treats by horse, Hounds and Horses and then Paul Prince Bakery um, that, that are great great products, free gift wrap as well. Oh, right. that's an <laughs> added you plus don't, there. don't hear of that much anymore. Right. Melissa, tell us uh, where you are. We're in Chevy Chase, uh, South Ashland Avenue, 321 South Ashland Avenue, uh, right by John's Run and Walk Shop. All right. All right. Everybody knows where that is. Scout, thank you very much well, for coming Scout in. Wasn't Scout good? Thanks for <laughs> having Absolutely. us, guys. And thank you for coming in, too. Right. Happy holidays. <laughs> thank Thanks. you.